those that are alive right now, we have to be like the five wise virgins. We have to keep our lamp burning with oil and prepare for the day of the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. He says, when you see all these things, all these things, what are all these things? Oh, wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, plagues, earthquakes, um, all this judgment that's coming on the earth, you know, false prophets, false teachers, you know, false, uh, you know, false religions. What is a false religion? Any religion that does not believe that Jesus is the only way. There is no other way that he is the resurrection, that he is God in the flesh, that came who died. He, he came in the flesh. He was buried. He died and he rose again from the dead and on the third day. And now he's at the right hand of the father and all authority that it has been granted to him of things in heaven and earth and under the earth that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Those false religions everywhere, but Jesus, God has brought judgment on this earth to all false religions, to homosexuality, to immorality. I, I can't even imagine how many people have lost the fear of God. How many people are still sleeping around or afraid to sleep around in fornication right now or having their mistress or mister in adultery because they're afraid to catch the virus? Keeping abortion clinics open, keeping marijuana clinics open. This is the, this world is Satan's system. He is the ruler of this world. This is his system, the Antichrist system. That hates, Jesus, that hates Jesus and the people of God. So stop looking to the world for answers. Things are never going back to normal, ever. This is the end times. The Bible says there'll be scoffers in the end times saying, where is the time of his coming? They've been saying this since the forefathers fell asleep. There are going to be scoffers. And Jesus said one day is it's a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. We are coming to the 7,000 years going into the millennium. Jesus is coming to execute judgment to this sinful, wicked, decaying world. This world is decaying and everything is passing away in this world. It will be burned up by fire. Nothing is going to last. If you seek to save your life, you're going to lose your life. Jesus is coming and the rapture is going to happen. And we have to be like the five wise virgins that kept their lamps burning with oil. And they were ready to meet the bridegroom when he came and the five foolish virgins. Jesus came and the door was shut and they said, Lord, open up to us. And he would not open up because they were not prepared for Jesus coming. They were carried about with the cares of this life like you and I have been. Do we have to prepare? Absolutely. Do we have to be safe? Absolutely. And cautious? Absolutely. But this is about looking for and hastening for the day of the appearance of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is coming to take us before the judgment comes on this earth. God bless you. Keep your eyes above, not on this earth. The Bible says that men's hearts will be failing them for fear of what's, what judgments are coming on this earth. Don't get left behind. Don't get caught unaware. Be ready. He's coming in an hour that you do not expect. Repent, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Repent of your compromise, your sexual immorality. Repent of your drunkenness. Repent of your drugs, smoking pot. Repent of your adulteries. Repent of your pornography. Repent. Repent. God is saying, calling men everywhere to repent. He's coming. And you're going to get left behind if you don't repent. He's coming for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. The Bible says to cleansing, to cleanse ourselves of all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit.
the Bible says to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. The fear of the Lord has departed. The church has become Ichabod. This, the presence of the Lord has, has departed. It's gone. That's why the pastors are not warning you, church. Sisters, brothers, pastors are not warning you. You're dead. Even though while you're living, you are lukewarm. So many of you are lukewarm. I'm trying to wake you guys up. So many people are lukewarm. They don't have the fear of God. They don't even believe this is going to happen. They're in denial. As long as, as long as the river Nile, they're in total denial. But Jesus is coming and he's going to come when you don't expect him. And you better be ready and clean up your house. Your, your, your house, your spiritual house, your thoughts, your words, your actions, repent. Because he's not coming if you're living in sin. They say once saved, always saved. You better repent of your wickedness. I'm repenting every day. I'm repenting every time something comes to my mind. I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to be self-deceived because that's one of the signs of the end times. God says that he'll give people over to a reprobate mind believing the lie because they refuse to love the truth. So God gives them over. Have you been given over to a reprobate mind? Do you no longer feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit? You're in danger. You're already done. You're gone already. God says, I'm done with you. If he's giving you over, don't be one of those people that God gives over to a reprobate mind. You no longer see sin as sin. You no longer see the wickedness of yourself and all the things that you've done against the Lord. You no longer feel bad over it or sick over it or, or weeping over it. God bless you. I'm not making light of this. If you're suffering, remember that the Lord will take care of you. Again, I said, he, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging for bread. God says that he clothes the lilies of the field. They neither toil, they don't labor, but God takes care of them. Are you not more valuable than them? But he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. All of them. God will take care of you. He's Abba Father. But don't get distracted by keeping your eyes on this world and what's going to happen. Major judgment is here. God is allowing Satan to take people out in the economy and the whole world system to set up the stage for the Antichrist. It's not going to get better. So prepare for the coming of Christ. Prepare and don't be left behind. Get right with God and repent of your sins. As I'm doing for myself, I'm repenting of my sins. I'm asking God to show me, is there anything? Don't let me be self-deceived. But I want to be ready to meet the Lord in the air when he comes. I want to be with him while the seven-year tribulation is happening. I want to be one of those saints in heaven that's looking down on the earth, watching and trembling for the people. Just, oh, Lord, let us be ready. God bless you. I'll see you guys soon. Please share this video.